everybody, I'm Peter from Offroad Electric and today is a very cold day, that's why we have this heat turbine over here. I really, really enjoy. Uh, we, have, we covered a lot of stuff yesterday. We unhooked and unbolted uh, a lot of stuff. Today we will continue probably with the lines over here, airlines and uh, hydraulic lines. This is pretty much it, what is left and then we can uh, obviously unbolt these main bolts and get it ready to lift up the, the cab. So let's not waste any time and start working. It's impossible to see it. One light, second light, third light, fourth light. I still can't see. Shouldn't be much. Okay, just a little bit. I disconnected all the, all the airlines and some uh, hydraulic lines. Now we have several cables here hanging different ways. And uh, the speedometer which goes all the way here. And interesting thing is it's sealed uh, because this is for the tackle. Uh, so the professional driver who drove it, uh, drove it before, he cannot play with that. So I'm, I'm going to break the seal and I need some pliers. I need some pliers. Oh. <laughs> Again, camera woman always in the wrong spot. <laughs> Should I pull it off or is it... Okay. So this goes to the taco. There are some like uh, rubber straps on the side, so I will probably cut, uh, remove them too. <laughs> I have to always say camera woman action because she doesn't she forgets that word <laughs> okay the universal joint everybody knows I have to disconnect the universal joint from the steering column uh, to be able to take off the cab so obviously that's what we are going to do now get there hmm. I just broke the end which 
made it worse. Hallelujah. That's f***ing annoying, I can tell you. Now, what the f*** I'm doing? It would slide that way. No, I have to do that from opposite side. Uh, this way, yes, this way. And here is no room. Okay. It's out of groove. If I can see something here, yeah. It's out of groove, finally. Okay, so I need to push it opposite way now. Yeah, it's fine. It's out, finally. Okay, one cup. I don't know if I can... I need to get it out! Come on, I don't wanna put... I don't wanna do the second one, really. Ah, uh -huh. finally. Okay, finally. I really hate it. Sometimes it's better ha to have uh, proper tools. Then wasting my time, wasting your time on the shit like this, but hey, it's done. And now we are going to remove the shifter. As you can see over here, if you look, it has five gears, uh, plus low and high, and you can put uh, low and high for each gear, so it's practically like 10 speed transmission. And uh, <clears throat> there is a cable over there, you can see, that white one, which uh, gives the command for the transmission. Particularly if you put, uh, put it on low and, or high. So we are going to disconnect the, disconnect the shift, uh, uh, shift stick and that cable also. So let's go down. Okay, disconnected. Pretty simple. And it's out. One more line, it's for the speedometer. I forgot. So, I remove all this stuff in order to get there. Okay, you can see the speedometer cable is over here. I have to unscrew it. Hopefully it will go. It's not going. <clears throat> Pliers. Now we'll, we'll lift up the cap and work from this side. Okay, it should hold. 
And we'll remove this top. Okay, the last thing about the cab, we have to unhook that hydraulic cylinder which lifts up the cab. So there will be the pin, cutter pin and pin, uh, remove it, it should go. And uh, these uh, two main uh, axes, I guess, uh, unscrew the nuts, maybe we'll pu push, it in, push it out, and then the cab will be 100% free. That will be it. No more work on the cab. I'm very happy. Okay. Awesome. So cylinder is out. And now we have no, no way how to lift up the cab. I'm not sure if there is a thread. Maybe there is a thread and I need to unscrew it. Maybe it's possible. I might need some puller. Let's try the second one if there is any difference. So I can get some idea. This one is moving. Okay, that's a good sign. This one is moving, perfect. So it's just rust, I have to hit it more. Unfortunately, I don't have a range of this size. Let's check, let's try this. Final step, I couldn't get it out. I, I'm, I'm going to cut this bracket and whoever buys it later, then it will be their job, their business. When I cut it, it will drop. I don't want... Uh, that the weight will smash the uh, the cutting wheel. Okay. One last piece. Good. We are done for the. Uh, we are done for today. I, I'm pretty. I'm pretty tired. If you enjoyed this video, uh, I would appreciate if you like it, if you share it, if you subscribe it. I have a Patreon and a GoFundMe account. If you can drop some bucks, it will be helpful for the next videos. They are not really cheap and it's really time consuming. Thank you for watching. See you next time.